Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating the setup of the Foscam FI9828W. This is the outdoor unit that's 1.3 megapixel. It has a 3S optical zoom. It's HD and it's weatherproof. So with this unit, even though it's outdoors, mount it after you have it set up, after you've configured it. To configure it, bring it indoors, plug in a power, plug in the ethernet so it's connected to your router, and screw on the antenna, the wireless antenna, if you plan to add your wireless information to it. Now on the box, and in the box, in the CD, there's a tool, an app called IP Camera Tools. You can pop that into your CD drive, run it, or if your computer is like mine that does not have a CD drive, you can always download it from the Foscam website. So here I'm just going to go to foscam.us and just go. Once at the Foscam website, click on support. Now at support, just scroll down and there's a CD installation software for the Windows operating system. I'm just going to download this one. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. Alright, so Here's the tool that I just downloaded. I'm going to extract it. Okay, so now I can just run this tool. So what this tool is going to do is just scan my local network to find that Foscam unit. So here I found other Foscams too, but this is the one I'm after. I'm just going to double click on this. So pay attention to the bottom of the web browser for a second. It says that it wants to install an add-on. The HD units, you have to install an add-on. So I'm gonna hit yes, accept it. The default username is admin. The default password is blank. So just hit login. It's gonna ask you to change your username and password. So just create a new username. All right, so once I hit modify, it will say change username and password success. I don't need to log in with that. Okay, so now it's all logged in. I can control the camera, but my setup is not complete yet. Right now, the room light is turned off, so that's why the infrared night vision is turned on. So I'm going to settings. In the device information, that tells me my firmware, application version, all that. But what I really want to go to first is I want to show you the user account information. So before the pop-up that said create user a new username, that's this is more of a security precaution. Fast Foscan wants you to create a username of your choosing, then they'll just delete the default user ID. So the default user ID was admin, now it's no longer here. So you can create other users here and assign it privileges. Alright, so now next thing is network. Now because if I have this box checked, obtain IP from DHCP, it's going to obtain the IP from my router, and my router might assign it a different IP next time. I'll need to keep using this IP camera tools, which I do not want to use, since everything's just web-based. So I'm going to uncheck this box over here. I'm going to give it an IP address, so I'm going to keep it as this, so it will be static. For the gateway and DNS server, to find out what to enter here on a Windows computer, just click on the Windows icon, click on run, and type in CMD to open up the command prompt. Once you have this open, you can just type in IP config space slash all. So once this is up, you can scroll further on top. It'll tell you my gateway, DHCP server, my DNS server over here. So that basically tells me everything I need to know to populate these fields. Once I have it populated, hit save. If at any time it seems like the reboot keeps on spinning and spinning and spinning and never comes back, you can just click on up here and just hit enter. Because I, have, I already know what the static IP is in the port. Now let's log in again. Okay, so now I'm logged back in. Next thing is, let me show you, it's also under network, then there's a port. So in case you ever need to change the port for this thing, this is where you would do it. Now for the wireless setting. For here, I'm, I do want to add it to my wireless network. If you're mount this outdoors, and let's say you live in New York City, I would not recommend using wireless because the wireless signal outdoors is terrible, too many interference. 
So I'm going to choose this, put in my information here, hit save. Now this is saved, I can essentially just unplug it from the router and set up anywhere within the wireless signal range. Now next thing I want to do is the pan to zoom. So every time it reboots, it will just go back to the home position. I don't like that. I want to be facing where I last had it stopped. So I'm going to set it to disable at startup and hit save. The next thing is video. So for the main streams, stream zero currently 720p, I'm going to set that to 960. Then for stream one, I'm going to set that to 720, make it one megabit. So in case there's a dip in bandwidth, at least the video won't be that choppy or anything. Hit save. On screen display, we want, if you want the timestamp to be displayed, your, your camera name. There's a, a number of options here for you to tune this to your liking. Motion detection, recordings, or even like basic settings so you can set up multiple cameras at one time. So let's say I'm going to add my second camera. I'm going to choose this. So I hit add. So now I've added my second camera. If I hit back to the live video, and I just choose this button right here. So this is the FI9828W. I just double click here. And where I can view this one. Well, thank you for watching this quick video on setting the Files Cam. There's obviously a lot more options for you to fine tune to your needs. And as always, I would recommend signing up for the Foscam newsletter. That way, if there's any new firmware updates or anything, you'll be notified of it. All right, stay tuned. I'll be making a review video of this unit shortly. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.